GRT continues to see higher prices after bouncing on significant key areas of supports here on the charts and at the time of this recording GRT is holding above the 20 day MA here on the one hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up and the next key area of resistance that I'm watching for a break above lies above the 0 0.1506 and the moment we manage to break above that key area of resistance with a successful retest, I will continue expecting higher prices. And on today's video, I will be discussing my breakout target areas, basing my analysis on the edit wave structures, and also give you my long-term price prediction analysis. And for those of you that might be interested in taking a trade on GRT, you can check out Bing X which is giving you up to 5,000 USDT in rewards and you can also claim up to that USDT in sign up bonuses and I will be leaving a link down in the description box. Getting back to the chart, you can see that on the 5th of August, we saw a massive breakdown move in a move that gave us a low below the 0 0.1129 and afterwards we continued to see higher prices where we first saw these bonds in a move that put in place a high in this additive count one before we started a bit of a breakdown move in an additive count two whose minimum target areas I have highlighted on the charts using this red target area an area that I came up with by connecting the Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that additive count one giving me a minimum pullback target area between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.618 which perfectly lies between the 0 0.1278 and the 0 0.1242 which is an area that we have now fully maximized and there are high chances that we now have a low in place in that second wave and whatever is playing out at the moment is the start of an impulsive wave in this additive count 3 whose minimum target areas can be given by connecting the trend-based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that edit wave count one, then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave, giving me a minimum target area for the third wave at the Fib level 1.618, which perfectly lies above the 0 0.1755. And once we have a high in that edit wave count three, we can expect a wave four, then continue gearing up even higher in that edit wave count five and for that to play out we first need to see GRT continue to hold above the significant high we made in this edit wave count one which perfectly lies above the 0 0.1422 and as long as GRT continues to hold above that and also gives us a break above resistance at the 0 0.1506 with a retest, we can continue expecting higher prices, having the 0 0.176 as our next target areas, and those are my breakout target areas. And in case of any sudden pullbacks, then we need to continue holding above support, and the significant key area of support to hold perfectly lies above the 0 0.1276. And on losing that, we can easily see a retest or maybe a reset of the loss that we made on the 5th of August below the 0 0.1128 and jumping to the daily chart to now discuss my long-term price prediction analysis and what I'm expecting once the bull market is here. On the daily chart you can see that after getting our bear market loss last year in September we saw an aggressive bounce giving us a high above the 0 0.4947 in a move that I'm terming as this edit wave count one. And after we picked in that edit wave count one, we started a breakdown move in a larger edit wave count two, whose minimum target areas I have highlighted on the charts using this blue target area, which is an area that we have now fully maximized. And using the Fibonacci, connecting the Fibs from the bear market lows to that high, you can see that the target area perfectly lies between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.78. And at some point after losing the FIB level 0 0.78, the FIB level 0 0.88 continued to hold. And I have said to you in my previous videos that in case we lose this key area on the Fibonacci, that means that we can easily see a total breakdown move over here, giving us a reset of the bear market lows. But as long as we are holding above it, 
it's still safe to say that this is still uh, a corrective structure in this edu 12 count two and in the next coming weeks and maybe months we can start another massive bounce to the upside in a larger edu 12 count three which should easily get us back above the 0.7 dollar mark in the next coming weeks or maybe months so that is the price action that i'm expecting here on the grt chart for the next coming days and also hours and i've given you my breakout target areas and that's all for this video and i will be keeping you up to date